Are you tired of having a Cambridge shake for breakfast? Why not some blueberry muffins? Let's learn how to make these super oat blueberry muffins here today on Cambridge Foods by Isaac. Okay folks, we're going to get started with our dry ingredients. So first thing in the mix, we're going to do six scoops, that makes three servings, of the Cambridge Super Oats. So we're going to do here, they don't have to be completely level, but there's one scoop, two scoops, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so again, this is our Cambridge Super Oats. And if you want to know more about Super Oats, you can always look at the uh, product review video I did. Actually, one of the very first videos I've made on my YouTube channel. So, Super Oats is done. Our next thing we're going to add, instead of adding sugar, I like to use Stevia because it's a calorie-free sweetener. And I have Stevia in the raw that I actually have in packets. So, I'm going to use six packets. So, we'll add that in. There's one. There's two. There's three, four, five, and six. Oh, come on. Okay, now aside from that, we want to add in some baking powder and we're going to use two teaspoons of baking powder. So let's get that in there and here we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. Baking powder's in. Next thing we want to add is one and one eighth teaspoons of ground allspice. So let's get the teaspoon going first. This recipe goes pretty quick actually. So there's one and then we need the one eighth. And that's right here. Okay, so one and one eighth teaspoons of allspice. And I think that's it for our dry ingredients. So what I like to do is I actually like to mix this with a fork because it's a kind of thick oat mixture here. So we want to just make sure that gets all whisked together and incorporated. Uh, let's take a minute. And you definitely want to use a large bowl for this. I mean, this is three meals of the Cambridge Super Oats. So six big scoops of the oats. Okay, that's all blended together pretty well. So what I'm going to do now actually is pause the camera for a second and I'm going to take you over to the blender and we're going to mix together a banana and some Greek yogurt. And here we are at my blender. I'm actually using a Ninja Kitchen Pulse blender if anyone cares. What we're going to do is actually add a really ripe banana. You see these really brown, they're even mushy to the touch. Not too appealing to eat but they're perfect for baking. All the sweetness comes through. So what we're going to do is just break this in little bits and toss it in there. This is going to add so much sweetness along with that stevia that we already put into the dry mix. So let me just keep peeling that banana and in we go. Okay, oh, can you see that? That brown spot, that's the super sweet part. Okay. So that's in there. Let me just chuck that in the trash. Okay. Along with the banana, 
we are going to add one half cup of Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. So I'm just going to get my spoon. I have a big container here and let me just stir that up a little bit. You might hear some mushing sounds. Sometimes when the yogurt sits, the water separates from the actual yogurt itself. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to load my little half cup measure here with my spoon. And the nice thing is cooking with the uh, Greek yogurt. It cuts down on, um, instead of using all the calories of butter, um, Greek yogurt does a great job as a substitute. Um, there's also no eggs in this recipe, so the banana actually takes the place of the eggs to kind of bind everything together. And here we go, I've got my half cup of Greek yogurt. Let me just scoop that in and around so that can all get nicely blended. And of course, you know, we didn't put any sugar. We used the stevia packets. We got the banana adding that extra sweetness to it as well. And um, aside from that, oh, I'm forgetting something. Let me see here. We've got the banana. Oh, the applesauce. We're going to add applesauce to this, uh, back to the dry mix when this is all blended together. And the applesauce will take the place of oil in baking. So we're getting really a, a good bang for our buck here, not only calorie-wise, but fats and health-wise too. We're using just all regular good ingredients here. Um, different from traditional baking, I know I am big into uh, baked goods and they, whew, they'll fatten you up in no time. So let me just, yeah, I'm getting a little dirty there. Don't worry, hands are washed clean. So I'm gonna put this on here and it's gonna get a little loud for just a second as I puree this. And come on, I think that's in. Nope, that's not in. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, let's take the lid off. You always have to scrape the sides because the banana chunks kind of fly around the wall. So let me get my spoon again, put that all in there, but you see this whips up in no time. So let me get that going there. Now while I'm doing this, I should have mentioned I do have my oven preheating at 350 degrees right now. So if you hear a little beep go off at any time during this video, that is the oven saying, hey, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's blend this up again. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go! Okay, that ought to be plenty. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to stop the camera again. We'll go back to our bowl, incorporate all our ingredients. And we're back. So now what we're going to do is mix our wet ingredients in with our dry. So the first thing I'm going to do is work with the applesauce. Um, this is unsweetened applesauce. We don't need any extra sweetness. We've got the stevia, we've got the banana. So you can get these, um, usually make little packs for kids. This is about a half a cup of applesauce. So we're going to dump that whole thing in. And the applesauce, as I said, is going, there goes the oven. Applesauce, as I said, is going to take the place of using any oil in this. So that's in there. And here we go. We're going to pour our banana Greek yogurt blend in there. And you can see those little brown speckles. That's from that brown spot on the banana, which is oh so good to sweeten up our batter. So this takes a few minutes. Be sure to scrape all around the edges. You want to get all of that in there. Because remember, this is taking the place of our butter and also our egg. So, we can get a very low calorie deal here. The uh, half cup of Greek yogurt is only about 90 calories. Um, the large banana, it's about 121 calories. So, again, keeping it really low. 
And the applesauce, uh, I think that's about 50 calories, if I'm not mistaken. So really working real low calorie wise. Oh, I got a little banana there. Okay, let me put that in over there. We're gonna mix this together. Now you will need to add a little bit of water to this as well as it goes. I just wanna get it started. And you see oatmeal gets very clumpy. And um, now you could try doing this with your favorite type of oatmeal. Um, I don't know the calorie count for those. I am making this specifically to work with the Cambridge Super Oats uh, that we offer. And okay, start swirling this around. Get all that in there. It does take a little elbow grease to get all that mixed in. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now is add the water. Now, typically I've, I add about two tablespoons of water, maybe three. I'm just going to eyeball this. I just have some bottled water here, and I'm just going to add until I'm satisfied. And I advise you do the same thing. Just take a look. Make sure everything gets blended together nice and smooth. Okay, and it's a busy day out in the city. You can hear the sirens going. Okay. This is looking better. Always want to dig underneath because sometimes the powder will just sit there and not be mixed in. So be thorough with this. Okay, that looks good. So now our last ingredient to add, what would blueberry muffins be without the blueberries? So we're gonna add one half cup of blueberries. That equals about 42 calories for half a cup of blueberries. So we're just gonna plop them right in and slowly fold these into the mix. And this gives the perfect punch to the muffins. The muffins have a nice sweetness and then you get the moisture from the bursting blueberries. Oh, it's so, so good. And blueberries aren't the only thing you can add to this. Um, I was thinking next time I might try doing pineapple chunks. Um, even if you want to try chocolate chips, I have cinnamon chips that I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, you can get peanut butter chips, butterscotch chips, you know, you, you name it, whatever you want. Just look at the calorie count so you know exactly what you're putting into these muffins. When these muffins are fully baked, um, it makes about 12 regular size muffins, or actually regular size now is the gigantic ones you see in the market. These will make the uh, 12 smaller, almost mini-like muffins. And they only come out to about 60 calories, 60.25 calories each. I usually eat about anywhere from three to four of them. They will fill you up until lunchtime if you have this for breakfast. These are wonderful. Okay, so we have this all mixed in here. What we're going to do now is just scoop this into our muffin, uh, muffin tin. I'm going to pause the camera a second so I can get the muffin tin in the shot here. Okay, so I have the muffin tin here. As you can see, it's lightly greased. I used some Pam cooking spray. This one is Pam for baking, so it does have a little flour mixed in. If you want to go gluten-free, just don't uh, use the uh, Pam for baking. You can just use the regular oil or a little bit of butter, you know, however you want to do it. Cooking spray doesn't really count for much calorie-wise, so I don't include it in my totals. So all you're going to do is take a good heaping teaspoon or tablespoon in this case and oh, see it's already picked one out to get started and what you want to do is just mush it down and you're going to fill these pretty much all the way because they don't really rise even though we put a little baking powder in um, pretty much what you see is what you get it's going to get a nice golden brown and we want to make sure that we rub the uh, oil and the grease whatever around the edges to make sure that these slide out don't just do the bottoms and here we go, on to number two. And we'll go back. 
you know, if you need to level them out, if they don't all look the same, no problem. If you see that one muffin has extra Blu-rays, go put your finger in there, pluck it out, stick it into another one. This is nothing fancy. We just want to fill these cups. And it makes just about 12 if you do them like really carefully, just right. So I got some extra blueberries I'm going to add to that one. Scoop this. Yeah, that'll work there. And really, this doesn't take much time to make. I mean, I've only been doing this between stopping the camera and things. I'd say not even 20 minutes. So this is great. If you want to make something quick, um, you can... I, I shouldn't say how long they store because, trust me, they don't last long. Um, but I put them in a nice container. And I've made them for a few people. Everybody that's had them goes crazy for them, even my mother who hates oats. So that's saying something. So you can see here I've got two open pieces and I need to fill those. So we're going to just mash these down a little bit and we will see what we get to level off. Again, don't need to be fussy. Just grab. If you see one has a little extra, just get your fingers in there. Grab a blueberry here and there and smooth them out. Okay. Mash these down. Okay, that doesn't have any blueberries yet. So there, now you do. And mash this down. And of course, as it's baking, the blueberries will start to burst along the edges. So don't be surprised if you see that. It's funny, I gave my mom one of these the, when I very first tried making these. And she had no idea. She bit right into a blueberry. I thought it was going to burst across the room. You could hear the sound it made. It was. Shocking for her. She says, of course, it's always going to happen to me. Anything food related that I'm uncomfortable with, something weird's going to happen. So she got the exploding blueberry. Um, all right, we're almost at the end here. Come on. Mush in there. Okay. All right. Let's see. That down. And scoop a little from here. So really this is just a balancing act. It's only because I'm really fussing to make the 12, but I could have just had thicker 11 or so, however you want to do it. Um, I'll tell you, even if you get no blueberry in one of these, the batter tastes awesome. The allspice is great. Um, okay. Another thing you might want to try is little chunks of apple to put in there and maybe some cinnamon. You could do an apple cinnamon. Um, when I do the pineapple chunks, I think I'm going to put a little bit of uh, either cinnamon or maybe some brown sugar on that. So just to give you some good ideas. And you may have your own ideas for this stuff. I'd love to hear what you think if you try making this recipe. Um, let's see. I think that's going to be about it because I like how the other muffins are looking. So I think we're just going to have a couple of little guys. And you know, rest assured that these muffins are not going to win any type of uh, beauty contest. But boy, are they delicious and satisfying. So I think we're good to go here. I'm going to just pop these in the oven right now and let them bake. And when they're all set to go, when they've cooled off, I'm going to put them on a plate and show you how they turn out. So stay tuned. I'll be back in just a flash. I wanted to give you a quick shot of how they look when they come out of the oven. And uh, let me see if I can zoom in here now that I'm not uh, using my laptop mic here. Okay. So you see they're a little bit golden brown. They didn't rise too much, but um, you can see the blueberries kind of bursting, melting uh, along the edges here in some of these places. But I'm just going to let them cool and then I will plate them up, show you how they look. We'll break inside one and really enjoy it. 
So stay tuned, it's coming up. These muffins have been baking in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. They uh, are nice and toasty brown around the edges. What we're gonna do now is uh, change to a scene of me breaking these open. You get to see the insides, how good they are, and enjoy. Okay, here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's break into one of these blueberry muffins and see how good they turned out. I wanna show you first of all, if you look at the bottom, they're a nice golden brown. You can see some of the blueberries baked in the bottom. So this is a really good one here. We break it open. And, oh, they're still warm. I don't want it to go everywhere. Let's see that. We break that open. You can see the oats are nicely baked and blended in together with all the flavors. The blueberries are mostly intact. You might have a couple that burst here, but these are going to be delicious. Let's take a bite and see how good they are. Mmm. Absolutely. The, the blueberry just completely takes over the taste in your mouth, but... You get those hints of the allspice, a little of that sweetness from the banana. The oats, besides the texture, you really don't even notice them, but these are awesome. I think you're going to love them, and I have a special gift going out to my number one fan, so stay tuned. It's coming your way. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and share these videos with others who might enjoy also learning either some really good recipes or to learn more about the Cambridge uh, program. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.